Hi y'all, I'm Ashley Judd, and after years of working to help all of us be free from sexual violence and finally to attain gender equality, I have learned about the most fascinating primate, the least known of all the great apes and highly endangered bonobo. Now bonobos are very different from our other closest living relative, the chimpanzee, because unlike chimpanzees, and I might even say unlike humans, bonobos are always egalitarian, cooperative, they're deeply invested in the well-being of everyone in their community, and they're always led by an alpha female. Beyond that, bonobos are the umbrella species for one of the most important ecoregions on Earth, the Congo rainforest. By protecting these remarkable primates, we can save the very heart of tropical Africa, an ecosystem vital to the health of our entire planet. Bonobos live deep in the most remote part of the Congo rainforest. Though they share almost 99% of human DNA, most folks have never even heard of a bonobo. For their survival and for ours, it's time that we get to know them. Bonobos are remarkable for their intelligence, their compassion, and their social structure. They use affection rather than aggression to resolve conflict and reinforce social bonds. Bonobos are found only in the very remote jungles of the Congo rainforest, which is second in size only to the Amazon, and its rainforest harbors incredible biodiversity and plays a critical role in sequestering carbon and maintaining Earth's climate. If it is lost, so are we. Sadly, time is running out for bonobos. As few as 15,000 remain in the wild. That number drops every year due to human threats such as hunting and habitat destruction. Thankfully, there is a plan underway that can save both bonobos and vast areas of the Congo rainforest. The Bonobo Conservation Initiative has partnered with indigenous communities and the government of the Democratic Republic of Congo to create the Bonobo Peace Forest, a connected network of community-managed reserves that protects bonobos, preserves the rainforest, and promotes local leadership and well-being. The Peace Forest is a project of the Bonobo Conservation Initiative, or BCI, which was founded by Sally Jewell Cox. The bonobos have really served as a flagship species in our work uh, to protect them. It has led to protecting many millions of acres of incredibly important and biodiverse rainforest. Just up to now, we have officially protected over nine million acres of bonobo habitat with over two million acres ready to be protected. But what's so amazing is that the bonobo itself has been truly the motivator to protect these huge, large tracts of rainforest. What we just want is you accept that. Indigenous leadership has always been a central tenant of the peace forest. One of BCI's most important partners is Albert Locasola, founder of the Congolese NGO V Sauvage. I met Ms. Sally for the first time in 2001. The bonobo is of great importance to our country. We signed an agreement creating a partnership to establish the reserve of Kokolo Pari and collaborative work between V Sauvage and BCI. The Kokolo Pari Bonobo Reserve, which includes Albert's native village, was the first of its kind a preserve set up for the protection of this unique and fascinating species. The idea that BCI and V Salvage had was to create a park where the human community and wildlife were not separated in a traditional way, but where the community itself managed the forest and where the community itself worked to develop local conservation. The first thing we did at Kokolo Puri and at every site where we work is to hire and train local trackers and eco guards who follow and protect the bonobos. And that created employment and led to other, many other things that we've done at Kokolo Puri, most notably to benefit the local community. 
The people had no access to health care, so we built a health clinic. They asked for an institute of higher learning in their region, and we co-founded a technical college in the territory. We've intervened for sustainable agriculture. We've started microcredit programs with the local women's cooperatives. Kokolapori is also a critical study site for Bonobo research. A win for Bonobos, a win for the forest, and a win for local people, the Kokolapori Bonobo Reserve is a game-changing model for conservation in Central Africa. We've developed our model for the Bonobo Peace Forest, which is actually replicating on its own. So now we have multiple sites throughout the habitat where local communities are protecting their bonobos and their forest, and they want to create protected areas as well. I'm proud to present to you the Bonobo Peace Forest uh, partners, uh, starting by Cosmas Bofangi, who replicated the uh, experience uh, of Kokolopoli in his home area. Each of these local leaders is rallying their communities to protect bonobos and save the rainforest. The growth of the peace forest is a beacon of hope for this critical eco-region. This animal is intelligent, with an irreplaceable role in the ecology of the forest. As we live in a period of global warming, we must protect these apes. What is the most powerful means of protecting the forest? is to protect the bonobo, because the bonobo and the forest live together. Our connection to the bonobo extends beyond our close genetic past, right up to the present day. And it is up to us whether or not the bonobos have a future. In the last 30 years, the human population of the Congo has doubled, while the number of bonobos has been cut in half. If these trends continue, we will lose them as a species. Humans are bonobos' greatest threat. We are also their greatest hope. By supporting the Bonobo Conservation Initiative and the Bonobo Peace Forest, you can help create a future for bonobos and all life on Earth. <laughs>